This is the first test of the R Python to LLVM translation. LLVM is a low-level virtual machine just-in-time compiler. We can see here this test is very simple. It just takes a, uh, a number, increments it, and uh, returns it. So to, uh, to run this test, um, in the examples R Python directory, just run test 8. This is the PyPy flow graph, uh, R Python translation happening. This is the C types wrapper generation happening, and then uh, the test is run. So this is uh, not using LLVM yet. This is using GCC, and to switch on L LVM, just uh, in this this call here, type it, type backend equals LLVM. And let's save this. And um, let's run this again. This is the LLVM assembly. And here's the test running. So we can see that the LLVM backend is faster than the GCC backend. The um, C types is not uh, part of the um, LLVM uh, solution. Let's look at the uh, the code that uh, creates the LLVM uh, assembly. So there's a class here. This is an RPI LLVM JIT.py. And um, at the top, well, here we, we import uh, pi LLVM and this uh, top class here, this JIT. Um, down here, the in function takes in the um, PyPy flow graphs. These are the R, R Python um, flow object space graphs. And um, we construct uh, an LLVM uh, module, an execution engine. This is the actual uh, LLVM JIT. And um, this function pass manager controls uh, optimizations. And here's the, the different levels of optimization. In the blog post, I'm, I talk about this uh, promote uh, memory to register is very, uh, very useful. It makes the translation to LLVM uh, much simpler from the PyPy flow graph. Let's go down here. So for each graph, each graph is a function um, that was parsed by the uh, PyPy translation tool chain backend. And um, first thing we do is we look at the return block of the graph and um, construct a, an LLVM type to return. And then we declare this, um, the, the function here, LLVM core. Just check out the uh, PI LLVM website and uh, all the tutorials for how to use LL, PI LLVM is there. So in the flow function, this iteration over the block operations is really where all the work is being done in translation. So for each operation in the block, we're checking the, the op name. And here, we're explicitly checking for int add. And um, the builder is going to look for um, a, a stack allocation, and if it's there, it's going to uh, load load the value to the local uh, variable, and then if the result of the operation is in the stack allocation, then the builder has to store the value in the variable, and then um, we're caching these for to be able to look them up um, 
elsewhere in this function. And then we check the, the block exits and if the operation result is in the uh, links arguments, then we need to also uh, cache that so we can easily look that up. This int lt is uh, testing for um, uh, less than between integers. And we we use uh, the builder ICE or I integer compare, and then we're we're using uh, this integer compare less than, passing the uh, these LLVM uh, arguments here. Okay, and then <coughs> we at the end we check um, all the links in the blocks exit, and here's where we detect the while loop because if if the links target is the same block, then we know we've hit a while loop, and now we're going to set up the uh, conditional bool boolean down here, and. Um, We link uh, we link the, the blocks together using uh, the C branch here, C branch 